Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This video is a two for one and it's here to both show beginning or early stage artilleries what they can possibly do with their artilleries on one level and then also an example of a higher level artillery executing the shots from the same situation where I'm only using two combat skills in this artillery which is not normal so I wanted to make this video to show this to you guys so if you're either you know someone starting out relatively early in artillery or if you're an experienced player this has something for both of you. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe, what have you. So let's get on with the business, shall we? Welcome to the Abbey. Alrighty, we're gonna take care of business right here. We'll get to the commander after the game has ended. But this artillery only has Two combat skills. Those skills are number one, reload, and number two, steady aim. The next skill I would add to this tank when I acquire it will be born leader, and that will give me the best possible aiming and the best possible reload time. But I don't have that right now, so I'm about a quarter of a second slower on the reload. <clears throat> and a little bit uh, less than my best possible aim. Now I'm not going to worry about nickel and diming this and explaining the whole scenario of the shot selection. This is more of an example of what you can do. There we go, let's get a front line position, watch these shots. Now basically you see the three guys in the middle and on the right there's a guy short near the water and on the far right a guy that my artillery can't hit from the position that it's at. So we're going to stay primarily focused on these guys in front. Hit the targets you can hit. Don't be a wacko. Don't try to shoot guys that aren't in position to be hit and don't try to wait for them. Make the most of your time. So while my guys are fighting these guys on the right, but I can't shoot. I'm shooting the guys I can shoot, which are aimed dead center of the reticule. So your shot selection has to be logical. Your job as artillery is not to kill them all. It's just to do as much damage as you can. If you can kill six or seven, that's fantastic. If you can do... 1,000 damage and that's all you can get in that game. Well, sometimes that's all you can get. You may have to move, what have you. There's a lot of different variables. But here, I'm in the perfect position. I know that for a fact. Well, that guy's dead. So what I'm trying to do here is just do as much damage as possible. So this is still our best position for viewing the enemy. Now these guys are moving left, I can shoot them like the guy I just killed here. This guy in the water, he's now prime target. Grilled the crap out of that guy too. So all I'm doing is just doing what I told you that I should be doing. And, well, it's working. Not really a shocker. There's an enemy, this guy's gonna get toasted. He's trying to shoot me, that jerk. What a freak. Guess what, Sonny? The big dog has claws. Boom! He's gone. Now, my team is slightly losing, and I realized what I was going to have to do. I've seen this happen many times. I need to turn to get to my base, and son of a gun, there he was, right where I expected him to be. Fantastic. Well, guess what, Sonny? You're in trouble. He's shooting my teammate. Guess what? I'm shooting him. Well, this guy is away from the controller. Worthless to me. Just a bum. 
okay, I'm using his camera, so he's not 100% useless, but he did nothing in the game. And he cost us. We could have lost the game because of his incompetence. All right, so now I have solved that problem. Oh, look, here's another jerk over here. Let's go back and see. Bingo. I'm just in artillery. I'm just here to help my team. Even when I'm the best player on the team, my job is to help my team score. Another kill. Fantastic. And that guy's rolling up on me. These guys are crazy. Sonny, this is going to be the last mistake you made. The trick in artillery is to don't try to be a superstar. Do your business. Do the best you can. Now, all we have left is enemy artillery. You've got to be careful. He's thinking he might have a shot at me. I don't know. He fires a crazy shot here. It was really weird. Here it comes. All right. I didn't understand that one at all. He was just lobbing a prayer shot, basically. So now I don't know exactly where he is in the game. I, at this point now, I know where he is. He's down there at Kilo, like, 8. So I'm going to go down here. This is the hardest route for him to hit me if he ever sees me. I just want to get closer so I can lay the smack down on him if I get a chance. Spoiler alert, I don't get that chance, but I don't know that that's the case. I have to operate under the premise that I'm going to help my team score. You know, do damage, kill guys, what have you. This is another great location to shoot guys. There he is right there. Kilo 7, my mistake. So now we got this heavy tank. He'll finish this dude off. So that was fantastic. A great game for my team. Now let's go check out the stats. And here we are at the opening screen that I used for this game. I achieved my goal, help my team. And sometimes when you help your team, brother, you super help. Eight kills, 2,600 damage. I know mean, it's ridiculous, but I only have those two combat skills. Plus, I do have a third one, and that is the quick learner. So let's go check it out. All right. Here we are at the end of game screen. As you saw, 8 kills, 2,600 damage. A fine game by any standard. Even better with the limited commander skills, but this is the key to show you how it's done from an early position. Now, as you can see, because I did damage galore of 2,600 plus, the natural bonus of silver for the sexton is 81%. So that turned out into 110,000 silver in one game. And I did not use a silver bonus for this game. However, I did use a times two commander bonus because I'm trying to build this commander up and I'd like to get that born leader, which is the final combat skill I need. We'll get to that in a minute. So instead of 10,000 for a great game that I had, I got basically 20,000 commander points, but I did use a times two booster for that. You know, medals, Stark medal, killed two guys while driving around, yeah, whatever. Did the most damage, knocked out crews and or modules, killed six or more for Top Gun, destroyed two enemy vehicles or more that caused damage to my vehicle, and I got a first class badge, which was really good. To get an ace badge, you need 28, 2900 damage, depending on the number of kills you got. With eight kills, it's 28 or 2900. Could be a little bit more. It just depends. I'm not worried about those. I already have an ace badge in this tank. I'm just out to take care of my commander building, and whatever happens, happens. And as you can see in the section, sometimes it happens to be awesome. Here's the overall score. This guy, PlayStation, did nothing, don't know his story. This guy, we saw him die at our base. He did nothing. All you saw was a, we had several robots. Well, they didn't score, but 
they were, you know, active. This guy did a great job with five kills. If it hadn't been for him and me, we would have lost this game. I mean, my eight was fantastic. His five was also damn good. So congratulations to him. This guy of 38H, he was the best player on their team. Did the most damage, etc. But, you know, their artillery wasn't anywhere close. As you can see, one kill. I mean, he had a, a mediocre result. But you can't have mediocre results and win when you're playing against elite artillery guys, even if they don't have commanders that are worth a crud. Now we're going to go look at this commander. You can see actually right there in front of me where it says Jolly Roger. Three skills. But only two of those are commander skills. Well, combat skills, sorry. So let's look here. Skills. Well, we got Quick Learner. That's good for 10% bonus of experience for your commander. But really all I have is rapid loading and steady aim. So what happens here, let me show you. Right now, the aim on this tank is 0.47. Wow, that's really interesting. Uh, when I get the born leader, it'll drop to 0.45, which is the best number that it can have, period. So I'm one step below that with 0.47, which is still a very good accuracy for artilleries. And my reload, right here you see the reload time, bottom center says 5.76 seconds. When I get the born leader, it'll drop it to 5.47, just under five and a half seconds, and that's the best reload time you can get in this game, on this gun. So, I'm just a notch below maximum aim and maximum reload efficiency. That's why, you know, I can still score in this tank. And this is the key, this is why the Sexton is a killer artillery. It has the best accuracy of all artilleries. It also has not the best reload, but one of the best reloads. The tier three Russian SU-26 has a faster reload. The gun does less damage, that's why. So it's a great artillery if you want to use it. It also has a turret, so you don't have to be restricted to simply slow hull rotation. So if you want to try that one, the SU-26 Tier 3 Standard Tech Tree Russian is very good, but the, the guns do less damage, but they have a shorter reload. So it's one of those tomato-tomato situations. Whatever works for you is going to be fine. But I wanted to show you guys what it's like with two combat skills. And you could score now, the reason I scored is because my shot selection, if you go back through this game, you'll see that it's really awesome. And that's how I scored. It's shot selection. Make, taking the right shot when it's available. Don't try to get greedy. Don't try to make fancy shots that you really can't make or super hard to make. Make the solid shot. And anytime you make a kill, it's an extra bonus. Damage guys, which usually will stop them, give your guys a shot to kill them. You know, if you can do a thousand damage in an artillery in the early stages, you're doing quite well. So don't get the big head. Don't act like you're a superstar if you're early on in artillery because you're not. There's many aspects of artillery that you need to master. And you saw those on display here, and that's what this game was for, just to show you these things so you look at it and go, wow, uh, I don't, you know, you need to evaluate your own ability compared to what you saw. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, the shots I made were some really great shots, as you saw, real effective, and that's the key. You know, the, the point is not to kiss my butt and say, wow, Duke, you're really awesome at these shots. I already know that. Okay, it doesn't matter. The thing is, go, wow, I didn't know that. 
And if you're saying, I didn't know that and you learned something from this video, that means it's worth a fortune to you. So your goal should be to gain knowledge. And you want to look at really outstanding players to gain this knowledge, hopefully from observation. And if they explain it to you, gather that as well. So what you saw, just to recap, got a good location, took great shots, was helping my team. You know, some of the some of the guys, you know, guys on my team made some good shots, some of them didn't. It's gonna happen to anybody. But I was also aware of my general surroundings, and I know that those guys will come to my base. Like so when I turned, I was already aware of that, but now that's because I'm a 10-year artillery guy. I have 10 years of artillery experience. You just didn't just I just didn't just drop off the you know off the tree and go, oh, you know, now you're an artillery master. It doesn't work that way. Experience counts. So you're out there trying to gain experience. Do the best you can. You can always get better. I play artillery in this situation because I'm building commanders and it's fun for me. So that's the deal. If you think you can't learn anything or you can't, you know, gain somehow, you might as well quit the game. I'm still doing artillery because I'm seeking to be a better player than I have been. And what I have been is damn good. So to me, you see this score that we had was really nice. Eight kills, you know, 2,600 plus. None of, those are not close to my records. But this isn't about what my records are. This is about I showed up to do the best I could to help my team and win this game. I achieved part one, did the best I could. I achieved part two, we won the game. That's all it is. And at, at part three was build my commander. I got almost 20,000 points for commander. Yeah, I'm happy. So I'm a three for three on this one. So just be normal. Make goals for yourself that are reasonable that you can get. Don't look at the, your next game and go, well, I want Duke, now I'm going to get 2,600. I, maybe you will, probably you won't. But if you do the best you can, that's all anybody can ask from you. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. That's really the key. You'd like to be a little bit better at the end of the video than you were at the beginning of the video. So tell your friends, especially if you have any guys who are artillery players who need this kind of help to get better. Maybe they'll leave a like, subscribe, what have you. It doesn't matter. So it was really nice to see you guys here. I'm glad you watched the video. Hope to see you again very soon. And I got some more stuff to do. And that's it for me. So I'm out of here. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later.